Hello Stargate fans and welcome to this tutorial video. My name is Degratrex and I am a beta tester on the Stargate mod. Today I'd like to demonstrate to you how to correctly play the Assault game mode from the first initial release version of the Stargate mod. There are as you can see two teams available, Goa'uld and Tori. Tori are defenders, Goa'uld are attackers. Today we're going to play Goa'uld since the Goa'uld are by far more interesting for this tutorial. As they are the ones who actually get objectives while the Tori only have to hinder their progress in completing those objectives as they are defenders. Before we begin with the actual tutorial on how to play Assault, let's just take a moment and have a look at the HUD of the screen right here. On the top you can see our current objective, Attack the Pyramid. To the top left of the screen you can see a compass on which we can also see our current objective in the shape of a blue diamond, indicating that we have to walk north in order to reach the goal of our objective. Our current position is displayed right under that. On this map there is only one or two planets if you consider the tow respawn and thus the upper name is where we are currently located, on the planet itself, that's Abydos. And under that you can see the position on the planet where we are right now, which is the landing site where the Gould initially spawn before they take their first objective which would be to seize the entrance to the pyramid we can see there on the horizon. Now let's move on to that so I can show you a little bit more about this game mode. We are now moving towards the first objective which is to capture the entrance of this pyramid which will be marked very soon by a blue diamond appearing on the spot where we have to be. Yes, I'm pointing it out right now. Between those two pillars is the general capture zone. Of course, it is not as easy to just walk down there and capture because Tauri defenders will be shooting at the Goulds from in this entrance and to the side, down there. Between the two pillars you can now see the objective marked. To capture the indicated zone, just move between the pillars and wait for the bars to empty and then refill with the color of your own team, which is red in this case, since we are Goulds. With this objective now complete, we are given a new one. Seize the catacombs, which is again indicated by a blue diamond, on the screen itself and on the top left in the radar as well. You can also see it here in the spawn selection screen, to the top, a blue diamond in the dark room, exactly back there. You can see two different spawns here, the one of the Tori on the bottom, the green circle with a lock in it, and the one of the Goa'uld to the right, with a square and another circle in it. The blue square is my position, the, blue, uh, the red circle is the spawn point of the Goa'uld. Now as we are moving towards the entrance of the pyramid, the side entrance of course, which is much more preferable for the Goa'uld since they don't have to walk by the to respawn in there in the gate room and then through the room of Anubis, this should be the direct route. I wouldn't choose that if I were you because, as I said before, the chance of encountering Tauri that way is much higher or greater than if you to move into the side entrance still through the room of Anubis or the room move to the side where, because that way the chance of meeting Tauri is much smaller. Now. One thing I have to mention about this video is that it has been recorded a great deal before the actual release of this game. Many things have been changed since then and a lot of the things you see in this video are actually placeholders. Animations, weapons, all that stuff might be different in the actual release version of the game. So if something you see here is not in the game or something that you don't see here will be, don't be surprised. Now you can see we are attacking the next objective. Seizing the catacombs is actually kind of similar to the way we had to capture the entrance of the pyramid before. The next objective will be a little bit different though. If you wish to view what your current objectives are and what the next objective will be, you can hit the tab key to open the statistics of your game so far and also take a look at 
your objectives and an explanation of the game mode you are currently playing. You see me now using a Z weapon for just some demonstration purposes and it would be an appropriate time for me to point out I feel that gold weapons do not actually have ammunition, they have energy. And as you can see on the bottom left this um, now empty bar will fill up with heat and on, as, as soon as it's full the weapon has to slow down for a bit to recharge. Under that you can see the yellow stamina bar and the red health bar. Gold will regenerate health over time thanks to their symbiote. As you can see my next objective is capture the eye of Ra. The point where it was originally located is again marked by a blue diamond. I can now also select a new spawn because I don't want to spawn outside the pyramid. We're going all the way back in here just to get to the eye of Ra. My target is to bring the eye of Ra out to our Hatak, currently in orbit over this planet. There are two ring transports on this map. One where we initially spawned and one where the Tauri come through the Stargate from Earth. Of course, going to the Stargate ring transport would be a lot faster. But the problem is, it's right at the spawn of the Tauri and fighting with a Zad which needs two shots to kill an enemy might be a bit difficult against an entire Tauri team. In that case, you should always move with your teammates when you are carrying an Eye of Raw or a ZPM or anything of such a nature where you have to carry something, where you can only use your side weapon. I'm not going to go into a great deal of explaining how to dial with the Ring Transport or the Stargate since there will be a special video attached in the end of this for that. I could dial directly to Hatak right now, but I want to showcase something with the other ring transport platform, so let's dial there first. We are now outside, where we first spawned again. I still have the Eye of Ra, which is indicated by this little symbol below the location indicator. We started there, moved, could have moved out to the side, instead of going to this room with the ring transport near the Stargate, we could have moved at the side entrance and then moved all the way along the side, avoiding all Tauri and get back here to this ring transporter and dial out to our Hatak. Of course, this strategy will be known to the Tori team after a few playthroughs, so you just don't rely on this working every time. You might have to fight your way through. Time for the promised introduction video on how to correctly dial a ring transporter in the Stargate mod. Unlike the rest of the video, this part of the tutorial is shot live and also at a much later date than the other parts, which explains why the staff weapon is being held differently and also by hands that look much better than the other ones did in my opinion. So let me introduce you to the ring transporter. To initiate a dialing sequence, press use, which is usually E, anywhere on this device except for the green buttons. This opens up a menu where you can select any of several destinations available. Dial into Hatak to end the game when you have the Eye of Ra. Right now I'm going to dial inside the pyramid to show this to you as well. You press it with the mouse and then you uh, get several highlighted buttons you have to activate in the sequence they are highlighted. Aim at them with the crosshair and hit use again, again and again. Once you're done dialing, just press E anywhere on the device itself. Again, not any of the buttons of course, because dialing a button aborts the sequence. I'm in there now and... Dialing the gate is actually pretty much the same, only you have to press the middle button and you often are getting a bigger selection and there are more green buttons to dial than just three. Hitting a wrong button on the DHD or the ring transport dialing device has the same effect, and which is breaking off the dialing sequence. I'm going to dial to a tug to show you that part of the map as well. 
it's advisable to hurry up because otherwise the ring transport might just leave without you. So we are now at Atatak and if I st still had the Eye of Ra this map would be over and we would have won. You can with the ring transport not only transport people but if I dropped my weapon in it and dialed it it should actually be transported away as well. And there it is, gone down to the pyramid. There will be another video coming soon, explaining in much more detail how to correctly play Capture Alien technology. Those two are of course not the only game modes available in the Stargate mod, but these are the only two really special ones, others should already be known from other games. I will hope to see you in that video as well, bye and until then.